You know, but the only thing that I don't like about making YouTube videos is whenever I turn the camera on, I have to shut off my radio. Normally when I'm working on a shot, I have the radio on and just have some, some music, you know, going. But we can't have the background songs on YouTube, so I have to shut it off the radio. But um, it's the only thing I don't like about making YouTube videos is that I always have to shut the radio before I turn on the camera. I wish we wouldn't have to do that. Wish I could share some of the music with you guys. But just the way it is, I guess. But so far, I haven't made very many YouTube videos, but I made a few. And I do enjoy it so far, so that's nice. It's actually kind of fun. I enjoy doing the woodworking, but I'm learning a little bit better how to do some editing, and that's become a fun too, and I'm looking forward to that process. First, it's a little intimidating doing the editing part, but now I'm actually looking forward to it when I get done. I'll make a project. I look forward to doing the editing, and I look forward to learning more all the time, and um, it's just kind of fun to see what you can do, you know, something new and different. I think whenever you stretch your um, horizons, your talents, it's good, it's good for anybody. One thing about this project, this takes a little bit of stain, which I don't mind, but there's so many shelves because they're only six inches apart, and um, it takes a lot of stain and everything. <laughs> but it's a nice, peaceful afternoon staining, so, so it's cool. You know what they say, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Do some more finishing. Yeah. Woo. Finishing to me is a little bit on the boring side, but I do enjoy watching the wood kind of come to life, so to speak. And the wood, see what the wood's going to look like when it gets all done. I do enjoy that. But it gets a little bit, a little bit monotonous, a little bit boring. But yeah. with every job, there's always some parts of it that you like better than others, I guess. Well, the finish on this project is getting close to being done. I got a little bit more finish to do, but not too much. But I still have cut some back pieces. This is the back side of the shelf. And I need to cut some back pieces. I'm going to cut one piece that's two foot long, and one piece that's four foot long. Four foot long up here, two foot long here. And when I do that, it's going to be, I'm going to make it so that both pieces of plywood meet right on the shelf. So that when you're looking from the front side, when you're this side looking from the front side, you won't be able to um, see the crack, the joint of the plywood.
thinking sometime I'm going to make a new set of saw horses. These saw horses, they're okay, but they're a little bit wobbly, as you can tell. A little bit wobbly, a little bit old. I think that'd be a nice project for down the road. New Yeah, remember the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Well, I'm getting a little bit excited now because I just put on the last coat of my finish. So, that sounds a good point. I really like that. Okay, let's do this. We use this number six, three quarter inch long screws. Excuse me. Excuse me for turning my back on you. Oh, 
okay, now the trick is going to be slide this pilot back over top of this glue without smearing it. See how we do. Here are some still photos of the process of screwing the back on. And a photo gallery of the finished product. I'm very happy of the way that this project turned out. I'm going to be I'm very thrilled with the way it turned out and um, it's going to come in very handy for many years to come to help store some auto railroad cars on my layout. It's very um, it's very um, thrilling to have this project completed. It's a big project. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out when I started. I just knew I needed some more storage space and um, so now I got it stuff. That's one nice thing about woodworking. You need something, you can custom make it to fit in a certain location. In this case, I had a, a 54 inch wall that I wanted to fit on, and um, it worked out perfectly, which you'll see in a couple pictures from now. Um, I took a few pictures of the finished product of the shelf on in, in my layout room with some trains on it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you can um, use it to help make some make a shelf of your own. And have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.